In this video, we are going to look at the common electrical symbols that are used in most circuit diagrams. We will begin off with a cell. This right here is a cell with a positive terminal and a negative terminal. When we are to represent that kind of cell diagrammatically, this is what we draw. And of course, when we draw that, this is the positive terminal and the short one is the negative terminal. Now, when these cells are combined together, we formulate what we call a battery. So a battery is simply a combination of so many cells. So how do we represent a battery on a circuit diagram? That's the symbol for a battery. A battery is just a combination of cells. It means that you're going to have this kind of cell combined. So now this is called a battery. And of course, this battery has three cells because we have one cell there, we have the second cell there, we have the third cell. Every time you know this is positive, that's the negative. This is the positive, negative, positive, negative, and that's a battery for you. So now let's next. We connect these batteries always to a switch, and that's how we represent the switch in a circuit diagram. That's the symbol for a switch. Then right there is an ammeter. This is how an ammeter looks like. It has that A right there to show that it is an ammeter and it measures current. So instead of drawing this in our circuit diagrams, we simply, we simply draw this. Then we have what we call a voltmeter. This is how we represent it. This is the voltmeter. It looks like the ammeter, only that the difference here is that it's having the V right there. Now that V, instead of drawing this whole thing, in our circuit diagram, we simply represent it by that kind of diagram, this circle and the V. Then we have the bulb. This right here is the bulb. It's in a bulb holder. If I may remove it, this is the bulb we're talking about and this is the holder. So how do we representing this bulb? We simply draw that circle and cross it. Of course, these ones are wires connecting to other parts of the circuit. Then we have a resistor with variable resistance. We represent it with that arrow. That arrow means that you are going to be varying the resistance. The resistance is, also, is not constant. You can vary it. And the variable resistor is also called the rheostat. And physically, this is how it looks like. So this is the rheostat right there. It's having a maximum uh, resistance of 20 ohms and it can allow 2.3 amperes. Well, this is the rheostat. And if we want to adjust the resistance of this thing, we simply have to slide this. As we are sliding it, we are trying to vary the resistance of this rheostat. So this arrow signifies that the resistance of this rheostat can't be varied. However, if we have a resistor that, whose resistance cannot be varied and it is fixed, then we remove this arrow and we simply draw that box to show that it's a resistor with a fixed resistance as shown right there. Then right there is an inductor. This is how we represent it. Then those are wires crossing in case you're having a circuit diagram. And by wires crossing, we mean that they are crossing each other and they are not connected at that spot. For example, in my circuit, if I am having this is a wire, it's moving that way. And this is just moving on top of it like that, just like this. So to represent those two wires that they're just crossing, this is how we draw it. But not some, all, no, it's not that all the times they'll be crossing. Sometimes they'll be joined. So how do you represent where that is joined and where? I have joined four wires and I have created a joint right there in the middle. So now this, this representing this on a circuit diagram, you would put a dot right there to show that these two wires are actually not just bypassing each other, but they are joined to, together. So when wires are crossing, that's how you represent it. But if wires are joined, like the way it is right here, you'd put a dot to show it. So to signify that these wires are actually connected, they're just not just crossing each other, but they're connected. That's the dot to show it. Then that signifies a fuse. That's a diode, transformer. 
a DC source. DC means direct current, so a direct current source. And then AC source. AC means alternating current. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Ksemu Academy, this is Anwar Brangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.